guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Irene Kin's future spouse. All right, he's patient. He's learned to accept that everything happens in di uh, Divine's order. Um, Kim Irene's future spouse has a solid foundation <clears throat> and achievements. This person is a spiritual union with Irene Kim, their spouse and her have a huge spiritual union with lots of power um, behind it, that Leo energy, that strength, there's strength in the two of them coming together with the two there. We have numbers 428, you could look that up and see what angel message that is towards this reading. And we have imagination is in reverse. So somebody maybe hasn't have anything creative going on right now. Being waiting for something, I feel, with this patience being here. Having maybe to wait for that divine timing for something to come in here. For these two to meet. All right, let's see what this has to say about this union, spiritual union. This is a high-level soulmate or a twin flame here. Oh, okay. So we have shady-ass behavior, something unexpected. And fierce here is the devil. So maybe a Capricorn, somebody fears a Capricorn, or they fear... Maybe a Capricorn who may be abusive or feeling bound to somebody and um, in an unhealthy kind of way, okay? Kind of feel like maybe it's a lot of desire for somebody, maybe even obsessed, um, obsessive type of control issue here. Something very fruitful or... Hmm. Yeah. Not somebody's fearing this type of energy here. Maybe feeling like manipulation or something along those lines. But with the shady ass behavior here, something here. Um, maybe this could be Kim Irene herself who's getting. Um, has somebody that's in her energy this could be somebody she knows this could be her this could be her spouse this could be her future spouse's someone they're with right now this could be their energy so let's get a few more cards here what are the intentions here mm, somebody's somebody might be um unsure maybe feeling fear here when it comes to something what is the strength card in reverse why is it in reverse somebody doesn't have the courage to come forward or say something maybe let's see mm. might be about somebody's pentacles somebody's saving pentacles or Somebody's shady ass behavior has to do with pentacles. Mm, maybe even a marriage here. Happy home, happy life. Could be a marriage, could be an engagement, could be a party, could be moving. Moving in together with someone else. Let's see, what are the actions here? Yeah, there's no solid offer here. What's the recent past here? Actually, you know what? I want to know why this is an offer that's in reverse. Why? What's the actions here? Why is the pentacle in reverse? Why is the ace of pentacles in reverse? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Somebody needs to see a cycle be done here. Somebody might be watching, um, obsessed here. This cycle's ended out though. Somebody is watching somebody's uh, social media though. 
when it comes to Irene Kim or Irene Kim's future spouse. Now, what's the recent past here? What's the recent past? Let's find out what this person's recent past is. Ooh. Mm, Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, so this might be her spouse that is dealing with an energy that's very manipula manipulative, malicious, deceitful, um, manipulates. I said that. <laughs> Just kind of really, you don't want to mess with this type of person because they're very revengeful. Okay, so what's the near future coming up for this person? Yeah, they're very hard. Oh, okay, so yeah, this, this is the King of Cups, and he's crying over spilt milk. Maybe not realizing that there was shady ass behavior going on here. Yeah, this person may have even wanted to marry this Queen of Wands, and uh, it's ended here. The cycle has ended. I feel like it may have been a karmic cycle. So one door closes for another to open for the spiritual union to come in. Okay, so what What are the outside forces for this reading for Irene Kim's future spouse? What are the outside forces that are in the way here or what do their family think about this breakup? How does the family feel? Hmm. Somebody might have been greedy here. Didn't I say something about the pentacles, right? After the pentacles? So they were even willing to marry this person or ask them to marry them. Or maybe it may have been this queen of wands that proposed to the masculine. But this is totally closing out with this Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, she was greedy here with Irene Kim's future spouse. So, yeah, it looks like there's no offer here. And this Queen of Wands is not happy about it. It's unrequited here. She's greedy. And maybe he was being jealous. Um, maybe he was being generous. But there's... I don't feel like it's the same for both. It's about money here, and it's not really about love. Somebody has love here, but the other one does not. And the King of Cups in reverse tells me that he was once in this energy, right? Now he's upset because there's a breakup here. Yeah, there's no love here with the lovers in reverse. So let's see, what are the lessons learned here? Yeah, this was a burden. This was a karmic cycle going, um, I feel like this may be, <laughs> there may have been some kind of downloads to Irene Kim's future spouse about this being a burden and wanting to put this burden down. Let's see here. Yeah, they aren't using their intuition here. The queen of, or the high priestess here is in reverse, so just definitely wasn't using their intuition here. Could have been adultery too with the um, the high priestess in reverse. The truth revealed here of some sort. Let's see. Yeah, they're in their head now. Yeah, what don't they see coming? This spouse of Irene Kim's future spouse here. What doesn't he see coming? This one wanted to come. Yeah, wounded warrior. You didn't see that this was going to go down like this. Wounded warrior. Okay, so what's the outcome then? What's the outcome? Hmm. Somebody might be being impulsive here. They're not being patient at all almost like they're stuck stuck where they are 
<laughs> kind of feeling. Somebody's stuck here. What else with the temperance in reverse? Why is that here in reverse? Yeah, somebody didn't get that victory for that money. And I feel like that was what it was completely about, was about the money. So, Spirit's advice. Yeah, this person would have drained this masculine dry, okay? Definitely. This masculine would have definitely been dry. And I almost feel like this might be the Emperor because the King of Cups is here when he was in that loving energy. And when it comes to his pentacles, he's growing his pentacles because maybe he wants to move into a new house or something or he's getting his money together. And I feel like now he's in this energy here for the outcome where he's maybe lost a lot of money because of this person. So maybe having financial difficulties now. What's with the King of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, maybe didn't walk away from this person right away. There's no love here. They're not using their, they just see it as a burden. Nobody's walked away yet. This King of Cups hasn't walked away. He's been hurt by this. This, this has ended though. This whole cycle's ended. He's already walked away from this Queen of Wands. And now in the near future, he's going to be upset. Oh, I see here. <laughs> oh, I get it. Okay, so we've got a King of Cups and a King of Pentacles. It looks like whatever the shady ass behavior involved to someone else, a King of Pentacles that maybe she was using for money as well. This King of Cups and this King of Pentacles. I don't feel that she walked away from this King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles has been here the whole time. And maybe he's got no money, right? That's why she's trying to get these Pentacles from this King of Cups. So Irene Kim's future spouse, I feel, did walk away. Maybe even moved away. Because there was no love there was a burden and he was definitely but because the cycle is already closed off yeah <laughs> there's no victory for this queen of wands she doesn't get the victory of getting any money and this king of pentacles still doesn't have any money and he's still with this queen of wands so it looks like Irene Kim's future spouse got away from somebody that was very toxic here with this devil energy especially with the seven of um swords so yeah with the seven of swords and the devil like that's like crazy um stalker kind of energy especially with this page of swords in here as well somebody was totally watching all of this go down and I feel like it was this Queen of Wands. I'm watching to see what happened after things, to see what happens with this King of Cups. And this King of Cups, he knows there was no love there. These two maybe end up getting married and this guy maybe said he was like this and he's like this so uh, yeah this this is funny because these two they're greedy and materialistic and that was all it was whereas kim irene kim's future spouse he was the king of cups in the reverse now because of what this queen of wands did to him Wow, what's on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, secrets, the moon. I feel like that was in reverse. These, All these things are going to be revealed to this King of Cups for him to be able to move forward here. This is going to 
be a fantastic union once these two get together because it is a spiritual union here very powerful firm foundation with somebody that's very patient somebody here this queen of wands or this king of pentacles was not patient at all and therefore didn't get their their uh, victory this queen of wands is still with that king of pentacles that has no money i'm probably going to try to lure someone else in after this i feel like this is maybe something they just they do weird anyway whatever um let's find out when this might happen for uh irene kim's future spouse when are they coming together spirit maybe two months two weeks two days and this spouse may have aries in their chart natal chart libra virgo and capricorn so there you have it we will have to find out more of what happens for kim lee's future spouse or kim irene kim's future spouse <laughs> i don't know where i got that other name from but whatever <laughs> all right i must be distracted <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, and subscribe. And give us that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing here. And um, don't forget to check out my other channel, uh, Chrissy's Tea Leaves. I've only got a couple videos on there. I'm going to be working on that in the next couple bit, little bit. I'm still working on some of the request list here. My next reading is going to be Mrs. Jian and Mr. Tai Young. So that will be the next reading coming out. And well, we'll leave it to you guys. Take care. Stay blessed. All right. Later.